Okay, let's turn to a team that probably does want to be in the conference yeah. tournament. The Kentucky goes in as a number two seed. It looked like a couple of nights ago like they could be playing on Thursday night. Now they're in a prime time Friday night matchup. They're going to get, uh, I think, either Ole Miss or Texas A&M in this one. Uh, Kentucky looks like it's putting it all together. They put away a number four ranked team in the country on the road on its senior day on Saturday. That's an impressive win, even if Tennessee made a late run. It's like he got 27 points from Antonio Reeves, 27 points from Reed Shepard, and that offset 40 points from Tennessee's Dalton Connect. That's a good win. Kentucky's won five in a row. Do the Wildcats have it going right now? They definitely have it going. Um, you know, the only game they've lost in this last stretch of what, nine or ten, was the game to LSU, which was what a, a one-point game. Um, so, yeah, they've got, offensively speaking, the most feared group of perimeter players in the country. They've got Dillingham, Shepard, Wagner, Reeves. Any one of those guys could go off for a 20 to 30-point game in any specific game. Uh, when you got three guys shooting – uh, over 40% from three, that's dangerous. In you know, Over a six-game stretch in the NCAA tournament, is their defense still the thing that's going to determine how far they go or don't go? Yes, it is. But you know how it is. We've both been to SEC tournaments. They're basically Kentucky home games, uh, especially in Nashville. Kentucky fans get most of the tickets. Uh, they're behind this team. They're excited about this team again. And Kentucky has something to play for. They're probably right now a four-seed. I think if they really, really get hot, they can play their way up to a three seed. They made it up to number nine in the AP poll on Monday. Heck, I voted them number six. Yeah, I think, you know, this is a this is an SEC tournament that Kentucky fans were planning on having a big tournament even before they struggled during the SEC season. This is this was gonna be a big Kentucky crowd all the way because this was a highly anticipated team in a big season. And I know Tennessee fans will be in Nashville probably in force too. It's going to be a really good tournament because that, you know, Alabama has been really good. Arkansas is pretty exciting. Uh, South Carolina has been really good. There's a lot of tournament teams going to be there and there's going to be a lot of competitive games. I think uh, not just on the first nights of this tournament, but moving along. Uh, Kentucky is in a situation where it's one of those years where they could stand to win this tournament if they're able to. And they certainly are built for it because they've got the depth and they got a lot of people to be able to throw in there. So they could come out with a win in this thing. I don't know how high they can climb from a seed standpoint, but they've beaten a lot of ranked teams here down the stretch and they've got a decent record against ranked teams and they've got a big win against North Carolina back early in the season. All that should bode well for them. So this is a, this is an important tournament for Kentucky, I would say. Yeah, I agree. And they got a bunch of young guys who've not played in the tournament before and, uh, hopefully they'll embrace the opportunity and, and they walk in, when they walk into the, is it still called the Bridgestone Arena? I'm not sure. I believe that's it in Nashville, yes. Yeah, uh, they'll be, uh, their eyes will pop out at how many UK fans are there.